<laughs> Let's just watch this uh, match. This is between um, a 1950 and a 1939. The black is 1939. See if we can play guess the move type situation and have a look at whether or not the end game opening process is being used within this game. Looks a bit tidy with the Fianchetto thing, so going for a slow diagonal. Oops, sorry. Slow, painful diagonal going through to this side. Castle. Same thing for white. Got to watch those diagonals with the Fianchettos. Ah, oh, I love that. He's done that to blunt the diagonal. This is the type of thing that we do. Yeah, so that bishop now is out of, out of scope taking away the danger point that we were mentioning attacking across onto the rook and the pawn so that's why white's taking the time now but you notice how white hasn't done the same thing hasn't blunted so i wonder if that's going to be their downfall so what's black looking to play probably getting activation with the bishop He's, that pawn's been put there to stop the bishop from moving to those squares so black is looking at doing that he may do this one which slows down the process a little bit bringing the knight in front of the bishop so wouldn't think too kindly to that x-ray through to the king so again it's a small, smaller version of the end game opening trying to pressure the king area even though it's not directly it can't do anything yet it's not physically going to take it has that threat like i say this bishop wants to get activated it's potentially coming out here looking for his own queen but his queen is, is um sort of biting on the old granite thing there because the pawn is the pawn and it's blocked and defended by two pawns so it's taking itself off the line though to basically get his rook here bishops attacking quite nicely preventing the um threat from the queen so i think black is controlling the game at the moment he's blocked off everything any major threats he's made the opponent do something they didn't want to do which was actually <coughs> they've brought their bishop in front of their pawn which really is kind of a big no-no so now he's going to have to make an extra move or so to actually get this pawn into the game so he's weakened himself so as we said the threat from this bishop is too strong so he's moved his rook out of the way but only piece that is supporting this pawn is the queen and that is not the job of a queen but anyway <clears throat> we'll see how it transpires that's how it looks to me on the face of it that's definitely a big no-no putting the bishop in front of the pawn so they may realize this and bring the bishop back again to activate this pawn so that's the story so far it's a long play game say a 15 minute 15 second game but i do like the longer games i know there's people saying that the classical games are they're on the way out and all that type of stuff uh, people are interested in the faster games but if you're wanting to learn how to play chess um you're not <laughs> to, you're not going to learn chess by looking at those entertaining games where they're moving really fast and you don't even know what's happening on the board and then you've got grandmasters international masters or whatever masters basically giving their viewpoints as to what they're doing throughout the game but the games go that fast that you're only getting a snippet of whatever it is that they're trying to tell you so to me it's a bit of a waste um, entertainment value if you're learning something and little snippets here and there don't really help because you're not actually really learning how that person is actually winning because they're keeping their secrets to themselves whereas I'm here to tell you the secrets so now the knight is coming through end game opening process is looking to swarm the king area like i say it's nothing new that i've invented this is something i've learned from being attacked like this watching other players play and this is how they do it there is no fancy way it's hard for people to i think articulate this simple process because 
they either want to make it really sound technical so that it's a, a, it turns into an elite type cult group where only this all of the people in the know can join in so that's where you talk about all your openings and this that and the other and it uh, even when i sit listening to all that i shut off because i'm like going that's not telling me anything that's telling me what somebody did like 10 million years ago uh, it's not telling me why that move was really done so i'm explaining to myself why things are done so that i can play my game of chess not somebody else's game of chess and when that person was playing they didn't say right i'm going to invent the nidorf that's not the way it went they played their chess and then somebody named it somewhere you know they named it after that person because you know they followed and copied that person so all it is is copycatting i don't want a copycat i want to be original in my movement i want to be like you know like those young people that come and join and then they're whooping everybody they don't care about the old guard they don't care about what you're playing on the board they are playing unique stuff and that's what is catching people by surprise so yes take it with a pinch of salt when you're learning these entertaining fast play games the bullets the rapid type stuff and all that business but if you hear the words well the classicals going out then if you're really wanting to develop in your own game you probably need to switch it off and go and start doing your own learning so white is feeling a little bit jammed in and they look they're potentially thinking they're doing this but this is going to open up their king area even more like i said this pawn is a big problem and it's a fawn in white side so how can he start developing and attacking when he can't even get his central pawn into action so this is um at this moment in time i like the way black has played this from a distance this is long range end game opening so brought the knight down so it's looking to potentially free this pawn up to start getting it activated so that it can open maybe the file here or something and get some control around this king area where else can the knight go it's not going to necessarily go there it's not going to go there it's not going to go there and that's the only reason why it's done that so then it can basically come around here yeah could open up and then go back again with his knight it's also looking maybe to open up the bishop but the bishop isn't really doing anything it's hitting this this wall here but the attempt is there so we've got to give kudos to the fact that he's realizing that he is feeling a bit jammed in so he has to do something so like i said where's the knight going now is it going here did it come out to come back here if it goes there then i suppose that's a blessing but again it's got two pieces blocking this pawn if it goes there which looks highly suspect if you're not into looking at games like this and like seeing how people play and then how you would expect to see things or check out weaknesses and if they turn that weakness into a strength then reassess how you play your own games then you're probably not that serious in learning and wanting to develop your chess play check out how serious you are at wanting to develop your chess play and then select the appropriate cause and they have done so they've got one two blocking this central pawn where is the knight really planning to go it has let's look at the positives it's got pressure on this pawn here because the queen is the only thing that's supporting it if that pushed then the pawn would take the pawn would take and his knight would take so there's an advantage there for them but if this pawn pushes on oh my days <laughs> if this pawn which it has done pushes onto the knight where is it going it has to go back here so it's done a lot of dancing and it's given black more space 
cre oh even this is even worse he doesn't have to he can move his knight here yep quite easily and he's still on the knight is he looking to open up the king if he opens up the king i favor black is he looking at this dark square bishop popping this pawn off to me it doesn't look strong enough an attack for an attack should be done appropriately not if it's opening up your king area and you're not even got your pieces really working together what does black do black i believe does have time to come back it does have time to come here to open up this pawn even so there's options which one would i do i'd attack his bishop <laughs> I'd attack his bishop yeah if his bishop then took then the pawn takes so the pawn is further advanced up the board it's jamming this pawn here oh my gosh that's what I'm talking about that's I like black style I'm loving black style yeah attack that bishop if the bishop moves back then we take the pawn but this bishop needs to go anyway because it's blocking that pawn oh my life and he's gone for a, a capture he's gone for a capture he can open up i don't think there's any big biffs about that at all because um he's opening it up for black and black is going to be in more favor because look his queen's over there his knight's over here yeah this knight can jump back around again but that's about all it can do these pieces are, are ready and primed yeah once that knight moves get this king up here oh dear he's in well it's over I, i'm gonna say eight moves for black eight moves let's see what happens from now no matter how he works it eight moves because now they're going quick and look at that fork he's got here with the pawn <laughs> oh, <dear>. oh, no. <laughs> My life. let's whip that off the board the bishop that has been blocking that pawn we said it wasn't a good position could go for the exchanges or he might get a bit fancy so I don't know what he's going to do um, could move the king across here because basically the rook situation what would I do probably bring the knight here but then his knight comes and if his knight takes and I just go for a simple trade down and bishops oh, oh my gosh this guy can he hear me absolutely this is amazing <laughs> brilliant this is the type i'm really excited oh he's not gone for the exchange so it don't make any difference because really um the game is done he could now get activate his queen to actually target this pawn here because it's nothing supporting almost forcing his rook to come and support here so that that would be quite a nice touch so he's got the attempt at trying to he really wants his rook to come here so that it's facing his king but like i said earlier i don't think they're fast enough to get across that would be an ideal one the queen coming here to put pressure on that ball oh my god <laughs> oh give it up <laughs> this is fantastic <laughs> uh, un unless of course they're obvious moves you know that they're making um, but <laughs> it, it seems pretty straightforward because of the end game process that we're talking about like I've always said it's not I've not created anything this is what people do and I've just named it the end game opening because that's what they're doing they're, they're looking at the game as an end game right at the beginning of the game they're not looking at well i'm starting my opening process then i'm going to transition into my mid game then i'm going to transition into end game they're saying no that's too long i want to get to end game straight away you can call it what you want it's entirely up to yourselves this is what i call it so that i can then frame it underneath the answer process along with the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically and that's what black has done at this moment in time he's done both of those um concepts quite well look smothering the king area now <laughs> this is really good wow 
Um, so all he needs to do now is probably swing this queen at some point. He could even bring it back down there, but I don't think he will do, because uh, he could bring it there to actually come here, which puts pressure on this pawn again to attack this pawn. But I don't think that's going to happen. He could even sacrifice his rook and just take the knight off. So I'm throwing in many options now because I don't really know at this point. Um, what would I do? I'd follow one of one or two of these arrows, which would be better for me. The focus on the king area, so bringing the queen here. Do I lose tempo? Potentially, because his rook can come here or he can them. Um, but then, even then, because he gets a two on one, then you see with his rook. So do we circumvent that somehow? Because if the queen comes here, he goes there. He's got a two on one on the bishop, so the queen is no longer protecting. And then I'd probably then I'm backtracking so then he can come down and get a three on one on that so I've got to be careful got to be careful so can we attack this we could take this knight off the board you know then the pawn takes then the queen takes and then we've got that diagonal onto the king yeah take with the rook take with the rook may as well because that's that's giving the solid base for this rook situation take with the rook that's the move because we want to get to oh oh I, I think that might have been a missed tempo but it's okay still is it's, it, that's one of the issues with the end game opening if you don't follow it all the way through that rook move would have been fantastic getting a lovely diagonal there putting pressure onto the king king doesn't really have much there we get the queen off the board our position is a lot stronger and better plus uh, ooh, uh, so that's you've got to be careful about selecting you know the weak areas and it's not saying that that was wrong what he did there but it sort of the steam seemed to get blown in a different direction and the whole idea is about the end game opening so black may still win but he's now allowed the defense of this uh, knight in real terms because now the rook can't take because the pawn takes the queen can't take back do you see that difference now he's got the pawn on his knight so he's gonna have to move so from that <clears throat> pawn move there it wasn't really the most critical point to be attacking have to be mindful of that when we're actually playing liked him up to this point it was fantastic it's brilliant focused on the king area ready for the end game opening and one small slip is all it takes so now it's kind of backtracking a little bit which is a shame so I don't know if I can help him now because <laughs> he's got attempts here what would I do well I would have thought no I'm, I'm finished <laughs> look at this now knight coming in this shouldn't have been allowed yeah that was not a critical area to be attacking it was good for white as we're seeing now which is a damn shame because he did brilliant work up to this point. Ah, oh. I feel quite gutted for them now. What would, what would I do? I don't know. There's no attempts to get into there. This pawn can't move, so you can't even get a discovery with the queen. Bring the queen across here, but then it's just attacking a pawn. No, the queen will get taken. Sorry. No, I'm all flustered now because the whole system's gone bring the queen here just to get it out of the way but then that's nothing that's absolute zilch the impetus has disappeared white, white looks really strong now just from that one pawn move that is so upsetting damn I could cry for him now mm. white needs to make a mistake but it's black's turn at the moment so what does he do if I was going to help him out maybe push this pawn here to get this bishop off the back and guard this area but what's going to happen is he's just going to come down for an exchange of the queens 
But tail of the tape, let's have a look at the pieces that are on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So it's actually up materially. But positionally, it makes white looks really strong. So how does he make that extra piece work? So he could just do this pawn move to attempt to get his bishop out here. If the queen comes down, then he can trade off because he's a piece up anyway. That would be the small potatoes really. It's just that it's not anywhere near as good as going for the king here. Just wonder if he's thinking of something that is he sacrificing the piece because it is up. Don't go for that rook taking now. You, that, that's been, that's gone. It's not a very good position. Queen here. To do what? Still got sights of there, but the queen is guarding. Oh dear. Yeah. So he's moved that slow. He knows he's made some sort of error, and the error was that ball move. That's why now he's um, scrabbling around for something. And I can't help you, dude. I can't help you now. Ah. Probably needs to get his king off of line as well. King safety because it's gonna start raining. He's making look white, making look white look like he's got two more pe two more main pieces higher than what he's got. Mm. Yeah, little small tidy moves like that. Then potentially getting the rook there. And he's gone greedy munching. That might be his saving grace. Knight just comes here. Attacks his knight. And then he's back into playing like normal chess. That's a damn shit. Oh. I'll keep on harping on about it because that was beautiful play. End game opening play. And if anybody can learn anything from what's just happened in this game it's the fact that you have to keep that momentum going if you're if you're delivering end game opening you can't then suddenly come back into oh well i just want to fence about fence around a little bit with some pawns or something and that's a, a typical example that's happened here how to lose the end game opening oh yes okay so it's moved attacking the pawn here and also the knight knight may look to take at least then we get some action does he take with the rook or take with... not going to take with the bishop because it's going to get checked so i'll probably take with the rook and then the rook can come across here do a rook rover at some stage and do you know what the rook could still do that thing then but then the knight's not there anymore so there's no there's no dice on that oh here we go here we go look at that nice 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 it's not too much of a problem though, Queen can move. And it can stay here. It can go there because it's attacking a pawn. Rook takes, King takes. Oops, can't get my arrows right. Queen here, it's attacking this pawn as well. And the Rook takes, then the King takes. He does have these knights hanging around though so you have to be careful knight takes with a check king can drop back or can go up and attack but he's got two knights you don't really want to be contending too much or he might just play it safe and just bring the queen here he's probably going to do that now that, that all that's transpired so he goes here but he's got to be careful these knights are really close if they can get a check on this knight can get a check on his king this knight can get a check on his king this knight can get a check on his king so he's got to be careful but yeah i think a simple move like that's probably going to be coming out of the bag this one would be nice because it does have the prospect of 
getting towards the king area. Yeah, I suppose this one does as well. It's targeting the pawn in front of the king as well. But it sort of gives the queen a bit more freedom to be a bit destructive or put threats on that the opponent has to think about and slows their attacking process down. Whereas this one really doesn't have that impact. Yeah, it's gone for the small potatoes. You can tell in my voice I'm really disappointed. <laughs> oh dear. But this is how we learn. Um, I, I just love watching these games. I love watching all sorts of chess matches. Not the alternative matches, all the crazy house stuff and all that business. Um, proper chess. As we said, the rook is now eyeing up and he's probably going to be doubling up because his knight has got... Look at all them pieces he's going to have on that pawn. That's horrendous. That's really horrendous how the tables have turned in this match. It's unreal. Duh, that's the only way why it could have got the advantage by Black making a an error because it was beautiful play he's gonna have one two three three pieces on this pawn he's currently got one supporting well two and the, the king well one and a half with the king could bring his knight back but then the king queen will take mm. has he done to himself could bring the bishop here to block that rook but that doesn't stop the aspect of these three pieces coming down here it's got the attempt at bringing the rook to here but it's not going to be fast enough bishop there queen there king moves then knight just takes whips off the stuff Ooh, knight takes, well, depends, it could, yeah, it's not going to take with the knight, yeah. Ooh, it's brought the knight down to protect, to get that involved. Also attacking the rook. It's all a bit messy though, because now he's allowed the opponent to do the end game opening on them. This is so shocking, absolutely shocking. <laughs> Dear me. So now he's having to do aggressive, oh lordy, obviously queen's taken but now it looks like he could get some serious fork business on him, let's see, he's going to be looking for this because the rook is there, the bishop can't take, so he's going to have like the king and the thing, so he's going to have to take with his king, or else he's going to lose the queen, so he's going to have to take there. Oh, horrible. And where can the other knight go? Yeah, I think he's safer taking with the king. It's well exposed. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Watching these games gives me the confidence to look at my games. And if I end up in a position like this, I do try and say, yeah, he has to take with the king. I do try and say to myself, ah, oh, remember what happened in X, Y, and Z game? You know, you're not going to remember the names of the players. I don't know who these players are, but I can remember the concept, the idea of what actually went on. And if it's appropriate, I try and work that in as best possible. Don't win all the games all the time. Um, there's no chess player that does win all the games all the time um, but the, the quality is getting better so the king's moved it's a good spot but I think the reason why my brain's sort of like got shut off now is because of the fact that I'm now having to think aggressive defensive moves when I shouldn't I should be the game should have been over in seven moves or whatever moves it was from that position 
Damn. Mmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Right, take. I feel like he's falling into a set play, really. Unless that was a mistake. What's this queen got? Line of sight here. I think that's obviously going to happen next. The king runs and then this rook takes this. If it goes too far away. If it goes there, the king drops down. It's this horrible night. Look at the outpost there. Nothing's shifting it. King's down. Queen can rook. Oh, it's even worse, isn't it? He takes. Queen puts. Oh, I thought it was going to do it the other way around, but I thought it was going to go there, queen check, and then bring that rook down with a check on. Oh, horrible. He's, he's, won, the, he's won the night. This is disgusting. Oh, dear me from excellence excellence to disgusting oh dear me how could that happen unbelievable oh oh dear right <laughs> oh the queen's coming down to finish it off <laughs> has he left his king open is he brave enough is he brave enough to go here No, because he's going to get, well, he's not going to get checkmated yet because the queen has to come here to finish it off, doesn't it? Does he not? Yeah. Or oh, the rook goes there, puts a check on. So if he went there, the rook puts a check on maybe. Or the, the queen, if the queen comes down looking for a trade, this poor bishop is all stuck in the back. This rook hasn't even got any air time. Oh, how did it turn out like this? <sighs> well, only reason I'm saying the queen move here is to potentially maybe get a, some sort of checks on the king or something like that. He's brought the knight round. Knight round's attacking the rook. Oh, it's attacking the queen. It's moving quick actually, he's white now all of a sudden. You'd think that they'd take the time with something like this. Because he didn't know the knight was coming there and he moved really quick. Hmm, interesting. In fact, he moved very quick on his last two moves. Um, getting a little bit... Um, sus, 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 sus. <laughs> Uh, so what's what's the queen doing? Is it going there? Bishop take this off? No, that's not happening. I can't even think for him. Knight coming here, trying to be fancy. No, knight just takes. Oh, well. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Keep aiming for that, don't I? This queen wants to just come blam like this. But if it does go there, his rook can come to the other side, can't it as well? To try and drop down here. And then that would be done, wouldn't it? It's on 59 seconds now, so black is, I think, he's lost the will to He's give oh, a shine on Harvey Moon. Oh my life. <sighs> yeah, White moved a little bit quicker on the in these last few moves. Hmm. 
Mm. Although, yes, it was a duff move, that pawn move going up. <coughs> and why it's not looked back since. It's like he's a totally different player. Because <laughs> <coughs> from making moves like, what would he say? His bishop blocked his own pawn and his knight blocked his pawn. Um, the position was absolutely terrible. And then black makes one erroneous movement, which I think it just opened up the floodgates for white. Because that wasn't even a critical area to attack at all. So that's the only thing I can say. Um, it's, it's really quite shocking that that one move caused so much devastation. But what I'm quite shocked at is White's skill in being able to take advantage of that. Um, they've not let it go. As soon as that one poor move has been made, that weakness, they've jumped on every weakness that Black had. So they turned their endgame opening uh, into the proper way of doing the endgame opening. It's probably been a little bit too good for, for their endgame opening. Based on the opening style that they had in the beginning, um, I'm a bit surprised that they actually saw quite a lot of what they saw to actually attack against uh, Black here. So that's another reason why my brain is kind of shutting off. And I don't know these players at all, so I've got no affinity with either of them. Um, but that's just the way that I see it. I've watched many games online, and when you do see sort of like changes in skill ability, it, you do sort of like say to yourself, oh, come on, just play fair, you know? But Black made an error, and he paid the price for it. So if you've got the end game opening, stick with the end game opening. You can't come backwards and um, attack a piece that really is not going to help you develop the end game, which is basically looking to smother the king area. And he was doing so well up to that point. So I don't understand why he went through the center where that wasn't going to help him develop that process. So the queen's into action. I have seen cases like these won, you know, when they've just got one queen because it doesn't have any pieces to support it. So black can, can still go for it. It's just, um, it's got three pieces. In fact, it was a recent, was it IM match? I think I saw where they're in something, a similar situation like this, but they, they easily won against the person who had the one queen. So he might be shaping up a little bit, but he's let me down. He's let me down. This is working way too hard. It should have been over seven moves after he got that lovely, beautiful position there. Just go with the rook sacrifice. Bone queen would have been all over the king. Oh. Where's the queen going? Queen wants to get out of there, doesn't it? It wants to be putting checks on the king and all sorts. But it looks like it doesn't have an angle just yet. So is he just moving? Ah! <laughs> is he just moving his king out of the way? Bishop can go here. Or even the pawn. He doesn't really want the rook, but the rook can still come and put a check on, so he might allow him to get a bit closer down to get a trap formation. Targeting isn't that good now. Suppose in a way he's controlling this bit here. And he's scared of bringing that up because he doesn't want the queen coming around. But it's one, it's two moves before he gets a check on the king. So he could afford to. Knight can go here. Oh, he can't. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because he's got the pin through. Rook check. Maybe here. I don't think he's, if he goes in there, he's, he's in trouble, I think. Yeah. Bishop's got that nice diagonal going on. 
Is he going for a draw? Looks like he's going for a draw to me. If he goes back here, oh he's not. Uh, I still think that's no good, personally. Come and put a threat, Queen's Guard in there. Let's come around the back. Hit him here. Hit him high, hit him low. It's 15 second increment anyway, so he's made his time back up, 1 minute 31. Well, if he comes back from this, um, I'm still disappointed with them because all my life, golden opportunities. Okay, so get the rook up, put the check on. King comes and attacks it. Get the rook, put the check on. King maybe comes back again, comes around here. Close him down, it's on the dark square. Something like that, something like that. He's got to be careful, yeah, he wants to get the knight involved, but he's going to keep getting checks put on him. The knight is the saving grace, it's just that, um, unfortunately, the solo queen it may cause a little bit of damage. So he needs to get another piece to help support him with his attack, that's why he's done that so that if the knight takes, then the queen just comes in and mashes him up with a check on his king. Oh, he could be closing him down, it's getting close. I'm not too sure about that dude, you've just lost your rook. Oh, <laughs> he's won the queen! Shit, my eyes were asleep! <laughs> And why it's resigned. Oh, my oh well spotted. <laughs> After all that. Okay, so it came good in the end. But my gosh, did it uglify it at that stage. So just looking at the analysis of this last game and going to the key points where Black had done fantastic work using the end game opening and at this stage here they actually um, appeared to lose the idea that they were building up towards so it's at this point here and the actual system is saying take the take the knight with the rook and that's basically what I was saying throughout the game after I've done all my calculations that was a critical one to be actually deliver and we'll take it through so bishop pawn takes queen takes if the rook comes down to defend queen comes across you've got like three pieces on one there yeah so look at the gauge bar the gauge bar is like saying it's like what's like i say seven or eight moves to actually finish you know uh, i don't really like playing against the computer because the computer finds the best moves i mean would the person have done this rook move what does that actually mean realistically you know um so we'll play it out anyway but the bishop goes something like that and the computer's saying go here it's going to be finding the stronger moves but we can always get a check on the king support and it's more or less done really isn't it yeah that's the sort of pressure that we're talking about i mean this is getting <clears throat> it's getting a bit arty now um, I definitely wouldn't, I, don't, I wouldn't have done that <laughs> and bring the rook here and obviously yeah that's all a bit fancy but that's the idea that was the idea from actually doing that particular move yeah, creating real havoc towards the king area and I thought he would have found that but uh, that didn't happen this pawn move here a total non-critical movement non-critical so if it's not critical <clears throat> to look at the king the king is there all by itself there's no no piece protecting it and you've created such a beautiful piece of artwork towards that king gary you're not then going to go and go to a non-critical area 
gauge bar showing it didn't dip that much it's just the afterplay seemed to allow white to look really strong again it's still showing because this pawn is blocking that way he could still go with this rook move but when that pawn disappeared and then the queen was defending it was no longer a viable option and there was too much dancing in the middle here and capturing this pawn was not a good thing to be doing and that's when he let him into the game so that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about fencing it's doing things that are inappropriate to the development of the plan and that you've got to have a plan even a sketchy plan and this was a beautiful plan up to this stage with the end game opening that the opponent was using but then it wasn't finished off if you go back to fencing then you know you, <laughs> you miss out on so much gold 